Disease, nature's greatest weapon against us humans. From the Black Death to the Spanish flu pandemic of 1918, disease has killed billions of us humans over the course of our existence. Americans have been through some rough times during the 20th century. The Great Depression, Two World Wars, the Civil Rights Movement, and the Vietnam War are just to name a few. However, there is nothing quite like the disease that struck fear in the hearts of not just Americans, but millions of people around the world. This disease was none other than our good old friend polio. What is polio, you may ask? Polio, also known as poliomyelitis, is a terrible infectious disease that is one of the most feared diseases of the 20th century. Polio is believed to be transmitted by fecal matter through the mouth, such as contaminated food or water, in rare cases through droplets from a sneeze or cough. The polio virus is found in an infected person's throat and intestines, and it tends to affect young children. However, the majority of people who get the disease never show any symptoms at all. Those who do get sick have mild symptoms such as stomach pain, nausea, headaches, sore throat, tiredness, and fevers. This is known as a board of polio. There is also the risk of meningitis, which is the inflammation of brain and spinal cord membranes, though it isn't life-threatening. This, while it can be a pain, is called non-paralytic polio. But wait, so Johnny, you may ask, is polio even that bad? Hell yeah it is! The most dangerous type of polio is the type that causes paralysis, also known as paralytic polio. The polio virus destroys nerve cells in the spinal cord, which can lead to severe, permanent paralysis that has crippled millions of people over its history, crippling even President Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Besides being permanently stuck in wheelchairs, or leg braces, or crutches for the rest of their lives, others become so paralyzed they are confined to what is known as an iron lung, a machine that uses negative pressure to force air into a polio victim's lung so they could just breathe. Half paralysis is the most severe symptom. Many victims are not just disabled for the rest of their lives, it might even come to the point where they die from the paralysis. 2-5% to of children will die from paralytic polio, while for adults the rate is much higher, at 15-30%. to Wait it's a bloody minute lad! What about the ones who do survive? They're fine right? Right? Yeah about that... uh... no. Even after one has recovered from the disease, there is a chance of post polio syndrome. This can appear decades after the initial infection. Symptoms include muscle weakness, muscle pain, sleep apnea, exhaustion, and much more. And that's only saying you haven't been crippled for the rest of your life. Unfortunately, polio does not have a cure. Once you get infected, you're infected. Basically what I'm saying is that you're screwed. But the good news is that in our day and age, polio is easily prevented by being a clean human being. Like, you know, washing your hands and stuff. And getting the polio vaccine when you're young. But the question is asked, where did polio come from? Unlucky for us, polio has predated human history, but it still showed up in records from ancient Egypt. However, most polio epidemics went mostly unknown up until the 20th century, though in the early 19th century the disease was known variously as dental paralysis, infantile spinal paralysis, essential paralysis of children, regressive paralysis, myelitis of the anterior horn, tephromyelitis, and paralysis of the morning. In 1789, British physician Michael Underwood was the first to provide a clinical description of the disease, describing it as a debility of the lower extremities. In 1840, German orthopedist Jacob Hein released the first medical report of polio, calling it Le Muschestende der Unteren Extremitäten, or paralysis of the lower extremities. Carl Oscar Medden, a Swedish pediatrician, was the first to study a polio epidemic in 1890. His work, combined with Hein's, would give polio the name of the hein medden disease. With more understanding of the disease, polio became one of the most feared diseases of the 20th century, as outbreaks became more noticed and frequent. At its height during the 1940s and 1950s, polio is have said to paralyze or kill half a million people per year. In fact, in 1952, the height of America's own polio epidemic, over 60,000 people were infected and over 3,000 died as a result. Polio was a monster that everyone feared as it would strike patients out of nowhere, regardless of their health. Eventually, in 1952, American medical researcher Jonas Salk developed a vaccine for the disease, which he announced to the world on April 12, 1955. The inactivated polio virus vaccine, or IPV for short, consisted of dead polio viruses. By injecting these dead viruses into the body, the immune system can recognize the virus and be prepared to fight it off in the future. The vaccine was campaigned to fight polio by 1957. Albert Sabin, another American medical researcher, began testing his own vaccine in 1957 and was licensed in 1962. His version, 
was an oral polio vaccine, or OPV, which was taken orally, as the name states, using non-dead viruses but severely weakened ones. Through global and an active campaign led by the World Health Organization, UNICEF and the Rotary Foundation beginning in 1988, polio has been nearly wiped off the map. Report polio cases have gone down an incredible 99% since 1988, with only a mere 22 cases in 2017. The only countries who haven't stopped the transmission of polio are Afghanistan, Pakistan, and Nigeria. Polio is close to becoming extinct like smallpox, though it is hard to imagine polio becoming prevalent in our day and age, considering we have vaccines and other forms of medicine for most of the diseases we failed to combat in the past. It is scary to think that a world like that actually existed, and while we are lucky to be living in this era, it is terrifying to wonder if anything like this can ever happen again. This is Johnny Nugent. Peace.